everybody. Welcome to our channel. I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And we're Zephyr Travels. And if you're new here and this is your first time, what should they do? They should subscribe to our channel. That's right. And hit that bell for notifications. We post new videos on a weekly basis. And we'd love to have you follow along on our adventure. This week's adventure, we are talking about our recent trip to Walt Disneyland and where we stayed at the Anaheim Harbor RV Resort. And that was a kind of an interesting campground. I wouldn't even know if I'd call it a campground. It was an RV park. Yeah, it was an RV park. The reason we stayed there, it's only about a half a mile from Disneyland. So it was very convenient. Yeah, we could walk to Disneyland and we would save the parking um, by doing that. Um, so that was one of the nice things about that, that campground. It was about $85 a night, so it was a little bit more on the pricey side, but you're saving $35 a day in parking. So that kind of balanced it out a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And we didn't spend a lot of time there, really, just the nighttime. We spent the days we were there at Disneyland. Yeah, and so we spent four days at this campground, and... One of the neat things about this campground that I liked was the fact that we could see the fireworks right from our trailer at night. Right, right. We could see the nightly fireworks that Disneyland put off. Yeah, they fire them off right along um, Interstate 5, and this campground was just on the other side of Interstate 5, so they just shot up in the background. It was really kind of cool. The first night, once we got everything set up at the RV park, we went over to Disney Village and just to check things out. Right, it's it's a free area. It's basically just shopping and restaurants, but it is free, and it's in addition to the main park, Disneyland. Yeah, we're good. We've arrived in Anaheim, and uh, we're heading into Disney Village for the evening, just to kind of check it out. Starting our Disney adventure. Yep, maybe do some shopping. Yep, maybe do some shopping, but we don't need any stuffed animals. Oh, all right. Do we? I think, so. <laughs> I think that's an inside joke. The last time we went to Disney, we bought uh, a Mickey and a Minnie, and it rode around the Airstream forever. I mean, we have a teddy bear that's been riding around the Airstream this time from the Vermont Teddy Bear Factory that we need to find a home for. Disney Village was a lot smaller than I expected, and it was maybe because I'm comparing it to Disney World and the shops there, because that's pretty big. It's almost like going into a mall. They've actually got a lot of shops there. Where Disneyland, the Disney Village there, is fairly small. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a nice place to visit, and you know, like I said, it's free, so it doesn't cost anything to go in and look around. And if you like to shop, you know, it's, it's well worth your time. Yeah, well, technically, I mean, it's free to go in, but technically, unless you buy something, it's gonna cost you $10 to park. Right. Which, right. our first night there, we didn't buy anything, and then we ended up paying $10 to park. We should have just bought a pin or something for $10, and we would have been fined. Right. Um, but it was, it was fun. Yeah. And we did go back another night and actually did some more of our gift shopping. I think the first night was just kind of get the, a look of what things looked like and what was there. Just something to do. Yeah. Well, our first full day, we actually did one day at Disneyland and the Magic Kingdom, and then we did one day at California Adventures. What did you think of Disneyland? I thought it was fun. Um, it's, it was the first time we'd ever been there. Yeah. We've been to Disney World in Florida two, three times. So this was the first time at Disneyland. And it was unique. It was the original Disney park. So it was fun. We enjoyed it. It wasn't too crowded. We were there the first part of February, so it was a little cool. But it wasn't real crowded. And we really didn't have to wait a long time to get on the attractions. It depends what attraction. There was right. a couple that we did have to wait for. Right. Um, right. We did uh, the Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. And I think that was one of our first attractions. And I think we waited about an hour on that one. Yeah, that was one of the newer attractions. So we did wait a little bit of time. It, it seemed that the lines went pretty quickly though. That's one nice thing about Disneyland is their attractions, they hold a lot of people. Yeah, the lines. The lines are kind of hidden too. You don't really right, realize right. how long they are. They snake around and are right. hidden in different areas. But we, that was fun. Um, that was a new ride. That we, we've never ridden it at, at 
Disney World. It's brand new mm -hmm. for us. That was fun. Um, that was a new ride that we, we've never ridden it at, at Disney World. It's brand new mm -hmm. for us. So that was kind of fun. We also did Autotopia, which is the little driving cars, and that's a classic um, Disneyland ride. And Diane actually got to drive. Hang on, Diane's driving. I got to drive, and good thing it steers you along a guided rail <laughs> or route. Because they're not easy to steer, and I wasn't very good at steering it. So we were kind of going from side to side. I probably would have failed. <laughs> <laughs> would have failed what? My driver's test. Oh. Not easy to control those cars. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, that was, that was a fun ride. That was a fun ride. Yep. We did Jungle Cruise, which I think was one we were kind of looking forward to. Right, we did Jungle Cruise after seeing the movie, so. And you have to hear all the bad jokes, like the backside of water and right, all that. Right, right. All right, everyone, we are starting off our journey at the Amazon Rainforest. We're a rainstorm here. Yeah, you know what, though? I think we just missed it. Ah, there's a little bit of water. We did the, um, uh, what's that one called? Big Thunder Mountain Big Railroad. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, which is an attraction that's been there for many years. But it's well worth standing in line and riding. Of course, you have to go to the Haunted Mansion. That's oh, yeah. a classic in both Disneyland and Disney World. And yeah, you have to visit that. And I think they were just a little bit different between the two of them. Could be. I think, because I know one thing, when you go into the room and the room stretches, mm -hmm. in Disneyland, it's actually an elevator. It's taking you down. Where in Disney World, it's not an elevator. It's, it's actually the ceiling of the roof of the room is going up. And it gives you that stretching feeling and then you walk through another door. Is this haunted room actually stretching? Or is it your imagination? Mm -hmm. And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> but I, I think most of the rest of the ride is pretty similar. There's probably a few changes. Right. But that's a definite must when you go yeah. to either park. Yeah, that's a favorite. We, we enjoyed that ride. Mm -hmm. We did the train. Yes, Walt Disney train. And... That, that was fun. It takes you around the park, and yeah. Yeah, and that is definitely different than Walt Disney World. Right, um, right. But that was a lot of fun, and you know, we like trains. Right, so it's something you, you, know, you want to take a ride on. Yeah, and we, we went to Space Mountain. We did Space Mountain. That's another classic at both parks. Yep, yeah. That, that's kind of a cool ride. Um, it's, it's, it's your dark roller coaster ride. Right, right. So yep. that, you know, like I said, that's a classic. Yeah, and I think the one ride I think that we waited the longest for was the Indiana Jones Adventure. Um, mm -hmm. And that's another uh, indoor ride. It's like real fast moving cars and such. And, and 
it's pretty cool. Yeah. Is that is that a newer attraction? I don't think it's as new as the um, Star Wars ones. I think it's been around for a little while. Okay. Yeah. Disneyland is quite a bit smaller than Disney World, so if you do go to Disneyland, don't expect it to be the same size. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. But so overall, did you have a good time? Oh yeah. It's yep. some place that we wanted to go to, and being as this is the first time we've driven through California, it's a definite must-see place. You must stop, and even if you're an adult, like you know, with no children, such as Randy and I, it, it is definitely a, a worth your time. Yeah, it, it's it's a lot of fun, and we had a, we had a really good day, a long day. Mm -hmm. um, we did break the day up, and. In the middle part of the, part of the day, we actually walked back to the campground and got lunch at the campground. Uh, so just one, so we didn't have to spend as much um, for right. lunch because everything was very expensive there. Mm -hmm. And um, two, just to break the day up and take a little bit of a break for a couple hours. Right, just to sit down and rest. We are a little bit older than probably a lot of the folks that go there. Right. So we definitely need <laughs> And because of that break, we were able to stay right there through the end until they closed the park. Right. Which right. I think was nice. Now, we didn't do that the next day we went to California Adventure. And I think two things that we definitely would do different if we went back. One, we would put a, take a day off in between. Right. We did Disneyland one day and the Magic Kingdom one day, and then we did California Adventure the next day. Mm-hmm. And, and it was, that was a bit much for us. It was us. a bit much for us, yeah. The walking. Uh, some of the attractions, there's, you know, quite a bit of motion involved. And um, plus when, you you know, you stop to eat, you just have to, it's a lot of movement for us. Yeah. For me, especially. Yeah. But we started out with doing the Guardians of the Galaxy um, ride, which is very similar to the Twilight Zone ride at Disney world um it's it's kind of a, a dropping ride you go into a car and it, and it moves around the building and then it drops you up and down a few times so that was fun right yeah and it's themed after the movie guardian of the galaxy mm -hmm. um, so, so that was a lot of fun and then we actually got to ride the golden zephyr yes we had to ride it it's, right. it's just a swing ride right but we have a zephyr of our own and thought that was kind of cool right so you you get in like this was it a spaceship yeah spaceship type and it just goes around kind of like um i don't know a swing or something just around and around yep and it doesn't go that long so that was fun and it doesn't go too fast yeah yeah so that, so we like randy said we had to ride that but we walked through all the different lands and and they have marvel land where they have Spider-Man on top of a building, and they have a bunch of different right. Marvel-related buildings and such, and that's where the Guardian of the Galaxies ride is at. And then they had a Cars Land. Yes. And that was kind of cool. A lot of um, kind of kids' rides in that area. But just the whole theme of the place, it just looked like the town in Cars mm -hmm. with the uh, Radiator Springs um, buildings and the motel and, and all the gas station and the, the place where the Luigi's tires and everything. Right. And we did take the Radiator Springs racers. Right. That was fun. That, that was, was probably fun. the longest line we waited right. in. Right. We probably waited. Whole, over an hour and a half. Yeah. Over an hour and a half. Yeah. And, but that was fun. The that ride was, was a lot of fun. Yeah. Hour and a half wait, five minutes a ride. <laughs> yeah. 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 So you have to be, you have to plan that probably is one of the most popular attractions there. So you'd have to plan on waiting quite a long time. Yep. But I think your favorite ride was the Soaring Around the World. Yes. Yes. That was, you know, you just sit there and you feel like you're, I don't know if you feel like you're on a plane or it just takes you around to the different countries around the world. So yeah, you're in kind of like a, yeah. a, a seat with your feet are dangling, you're raised up and you're on a 180 degree screen so your peripheral vision is into what they're showing and you basically just fly around the world and right. you have that actual feeling of flying which is kind of fun yeah i really enjoyed that yeah concerning you were a little um motion sickness from the day before and so taking an easier ride was, was better that day another reason why we probably should have skipped today so, so, yeah probably 
Yeah, because we got on your Nemesis ride. <laughs> My Nemesis ride? Yeah, the swinging Ferris wheel. Yes, <laughs> they had this Ferris wheel, was, but it also had, it had station, Moving cars. stationary, stationary cages cars. and they had rocking cages. Yeah. And Randy wanted to ride the rocking cages. <laughs> so by that time, I was like, at the end of the day of two days of some wild attractions, I was like, I, I got on there and there was three other young kids who really wanted to rock the cage. So we're sitting there and we're going and I'm like, okay, I wanna get off. I need to get off. We had masks on. I'm thinking, I'm gonna stop. Next time around, I'm gonna stop the guy and let me out. Fortunately, it was the end of our ride. Yeah, you only went around twice. Right. And then, then we went around twice at speed and then one time, stop and go, stop and go. Right. Yeah. So I was very happy to get off that ride. Needless to say, I sat down. There was still a roller coaster that I, I would have liked to ridden. Randy would have liked to ridden. I said, go ahead. You're going to have to <clears throat> ride by yourself. And the more I sat there, I think he realized that I really wasn't doing that well. So we just walked back to the. Well, I think we got something to eat. Was yeah, it? just a little something to yeah. eat. I, it would have been fun to do, but um, I don't know if you would have done it anyways. You're not big on roller coasters like you used to be. Yeah. Maybe if you were feeling better, you might have done it. Right, or if we had done that, like, the first thing, I might have. Because I really didn't, it wasn't too bad the first part, I think, but after all the motion and just all that, I just was not doing very well. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty much the end of our day at that point. And we didn't break the day up and, and go back. It no. might have made a difference if we did. I, I think part of it was, again, because we did it the next day, we walked so much at the Magic Kingdom that we were a little tired. And I don't think we really wanted to walk back. We, I, I bet we probably would have had a hard time convincing ourselves to go back to the park again. And so we just probably. decided to save our energy and just stay there. Probably. So like Randy said before, we probably should have split it up into and, uh, you know, take a day in between and rest and do something else. Right. So if you're going to do that, and it probably doesn't matter if, if it's, you know, Disneyland or Disney World, just keep in mind that you're going to do a lot of walking. There's a lot to do there. The tickets are expensive, so you're going to try to do it all at the same time. And you probably would be better off to take a day of rest in between, plan your, your stay there so that you get some time to take off. In between, find something else to do in those off days. You know, you can do some little sightseeing around the area, but you could find something else. Right. But we wouldn't discourage anybody from going. We did have a, we had a great time. Yeah, oh, definitely. Definitely yeah. had a real good time. Enjoyed that a lot. Yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give us a thumbs up. And until the next time, I guess we're just going to see you guys down the road. Down the road. Bye, everybody. Bye. Oh, next uh, video, we're heading to Los Angeles, and we're doing some really cool things there. So make sure you subscribe so you can follow along on that.